Have you ever wondered what the Persian cat breed is all about? Well, we'll talk about that in this video and also about popular pet fur removers. Hello, you wonderful cat people out there. I hope you're having a great week. Welcome to my Cat Crazy channel where I'm talking anything related to cats. So if you love cats, please hit the subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified whenever we have a new video out, which will be every week. So now let's dive right in, right after the quiz of the day. How many humans have a cat for a pet in the US? 10 million, 30 million, 60 million or 80 plus million? The Persian cat is also known as the Shirazi or Iranian cat and this is where she originates from. Not much is known about the Persian background, um, however, um, we do know that during the Victorian times in Britain she was very, very popular. Now in North America she is the most popular cat breed, the Persian cat. Uh, there are two different kinds of these. Um, that one is the traditional um, Persian cat and she has like the normal long nose, beautiful long fur and um, she's also known as the doll face. Very really beautiful cat. And then there is the show cat and the show cat has a, a really round face and small ears and a very short nose. So either way, both of them, they're very gentle and quiet and sweet. In their personalities so if you have little kids you might want to you know make sure they don't drag them around because they don't like that so of course long long fur means they need to be groomed daily otherwise they cough up a lot of fur balls <laughs> and you don't want that either all cats have the potential to develop hereditary um, health issues, but if you go to a responsible breeder, they take steps to um, avoid those issues and to make sure that they are as healthy as possible. For the Persian cat breed, if there are issues, it could be bladder, kidney, liver or breathing issues. Now there's two different possibilities for you. You could get a kitten, of course, from a breeder. But maybe that's not for you. Maybe you don't want to deal with bringing up a little baby kitten and make sure that she's not scratching everywhere and whatever else they do as babies. Um, you could also maybe adopt an adult cat. And that is a good possibility. Um, for example, when an owner is too old or sick and can't take care of them, sometimes they end up at a shelter or rescue service. So that is a really good option and it's a nice thing to check out the shelters as well. Yeah, we, we, for example, we have like a, um, a cat right now, an outdoor community cat. It's a white Persian cat. Her name is Snow. And we really try to get her adopted out because she's a really beautiful cat. I know somebody would love to have her. And since we're talking about the Persian cat today, we also want to review a few pet fur removers because, well, your long-haired furry friend will have to be groomed daily, but you also will still find uh, some hair on your clothing, on your sofa, on your carpet, in your car. Well, and you want to have some effectful little things and we'll review these, my favorite ones. So let's first look at the Gonzo Pet Hair Lifter. And as you can see, our cats already got into it and love it. So this works really well, as you can see. Um, what they say is it has to be completely dry. So don't wet it down. See, just remove the fur, then you can wash it and uh, reuse it after it is completely dry. But it works really well. and. Um, just don't store it in, in heat or in direct sunlight. That's what the instructions say. Okay, this is the next one. And when I first saw that, I was like, you're kidding me, right? The ugly duckling, but it works and it does work. First off. So this one, it feels like a rock or meteorite or something like that. Okay, I have no idea what this is made of, but as you can see, it works really well. So you just have to remove the fur and ready to use again. 
It is great for upholstery and for, you know, uh, carpets. I wouldn't use it on clothing that much because it's a little harsh. But it really works well, as you can see. The Every Holder Fur Remover Brush and Broom. So this one is, I would say, made of rubber or something. And it also works really well. And especially, I would say, since we have the broom with it too, you can use this easy on carpet. All fur is gone. There you go. The next one is the Chum Chum Roller. So this one works really well. You have to go back and forth and back and forth. And then, after you've got it all out, look at that. You can remove all the fur here. And it is ready to go for the next time. And now we're looking at my favorite ones, the scotch Bright adhesive ones. My favorite ones. Look at that, you know, hey, if you need to go to an evening event or whatever and guess what, your cat just lied on your dress, here you go. Look how fast and how extremely well this is working. So in conclusion, all of these work really well and I must say, probably this is my favorite because it works on clothing so well as well. But you have to remember with this one that you this is disposable, so you will have to buy replacements. Um, other than that, this one is really good too. Awesome. All of them are good. And here is the surprising answer to the quiz of the day. We have 88 million cat lovers and cat owners in the US, as opposed to da 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 da. 74 million dog owners. Well, we have more cat lovers than dog lovers, but we love dogs as well, of course. This is it for today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends. Um, I will be back with a new video next uh, Tuesday, and um, I hope to see you again. In the meantime, please uh, use the comment section and write to me and let me know um, what kind of cat you like. I would love to hear it. Cats rule! <laughs>